If you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. I don't know, guys. It seems like he's gone. Oh. We gotta stop meeting like this, guys. Because today we're here to watch scary stuff. Now y'all ought to know how I do. Don't mind me. I'm just working up the courage to start the video. Give me a couple more hot Cheetos. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready now. Urban Exploration Gone Wrong. Yeah, Urban Explorers Matt and Andy this, from the YouTube channel Finders, Beepers, History Seekers travel to an abandoned 1800s farmhouse in West Yorkshire, England. In the early 1900s, a farmer's wife passed, We're gonna turn off the lights. passed away from disease inside the home. Mad with grief, the farmer took the lives of their two children while they slept in their beds. Damn. And then he took his own life in the barn. The unsettling tragic history has Matt and Andy a little creeped out as they explore the building. And that's when Andy sees uh, something. This is Don't. just all a bit freaky. Let's go in the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Oh, oh, nah, I don't know what I feel about this. Carpet. Very spongy, very spongy carpet. In it, it's very soft. Oh, what? Oh, what? 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 You fucked in there? Look, what? Oh, he's the mother. <laughs> Do it again, because I don't know if I've got it on camera. I don't know if you can see it. He can. The cord on that. I shove it in there and I saw that bouncing. Oh, shit, man. Get the shit out of me! You drop a shit me. Get the shit out of me! After Andy's absolutely terrifying encounter with a lamp cord, the two guys laugh it off and continue looking around. But not soon after, things take a truly creepy turn when they hear something absolutely unnerving coming from somewhere inside the building. Stop. Is there someone downstairs? No, no. No, listen. Are you running? Running? How can he? How can he like running for you? Your sure is better than mine now. What? We're playing. No heart. Don't worry, sir. We're I just feel like he's down. We're Negroes. Down, either down there or downstairs. We're Negroes. What the hell is that? Rape? Can't you hear that? Can you hear voices, let alone? Where did that f come from then? It looks like a br Look at that! No. Right, Andy, Don't do this. Means. No. No. No, 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 no. Like blocking it off. It's just stuck in the Where's wall that, and everything. Where did that even come from? Run away! Don't like it, man. What was that? I don't like it. I don't because it weren't weren't balanced on here, were it? It couldn't happen. Let me get it. I don't like how it's like that though. Now it's landed. Spear. Matt and Andy hear what sounds like someone running downstairs. When they go back out into the hallway, an old broom is inexplicably thrown onto the staircase from somewhere. While trying to find an explanation for the terrifying event, a childlike voice can be heard whispering, It's me. Don't 
Dark it in. Dark it in. Dark it in. So could it be that the two friends accidentally captured the spirits of the family who once lived there? You can watch this entire video and many more creepy explorations through abandoned locations over on the YouTube channel, Finders Beepers History Seekers. Gate to Hell. It's 3 a.m. and Cassandra is shocked awake by the sound of her two very disturbed pit bulls. As she jumps from her bed and looks out of her bedroom window, she quickly realizes why her dogs are so upset. Her outside garden gate is moving, violently clanging back and forth all by itself. No wind. Better grab the blicky. Get the gun, bitch. Now the gate moving by itself is shocking enough, but most terrifying of all, some very strange looking person appears to be standing just outside the garden fence. Cassandra runs to grab a brighter flashlight, but when she returns, the mysterious figure has disappeared. She seems to hear something nearby and whispers, hello. As if in response to her greeting, someone violently pounds on the door right beside her. Cassandra says that she called the police, but they didn't find anyone or anything around her property. So whatever this is, it remains unexplained. Summoning the Dead The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team, Jeff, Phil, and Pete, set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Stanley Halls in South Norwood Hill London, England. Stanley Halls was designed and built in 1903 by successful British inventor William Ford Robinson Stanley. Although a man of science, and he looked like the dude that invented Kentucky Fried Chicken out this bitch. William Stanley was always intrigued by the paranormal. It is said that William performed a total of 13 seances to contact the dead and obtain insights into the future. A series of seances that took place um, they were him using the communication with spirits to predict the future, to see what was going to happen and use it as a way to look at um, basically what the improvements of mankind would be over the next 50 years. William Stanley passed away from a heart attack in 1909, but Stanley Hall still stands today and is now a community center for the arts. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team is told that many workers and visitors claim to have heard or seen the spirit of William, so the investigators attempt to make contact with his ghost. They set up several static cameras throughout the building and then sit down at a table in the main hall stage area. They ask the ghost of William to join them at the table. What happens next catches them all by surprise. Who was that? I heard that. Who, who was that? It was something moved here. There's a bang, isn't it? I don't know you feel it. Did, was it you, Peter? No. Well, it certainly wasn't me because I have my elbows on the table like this. And I'm sitting here like this holding the digital recorder. I haven't moved. As you can see, none of us move. 
and we feel the vibration go through the table. A loud bang can be heard and the three investigators all question if one of them accidentally hit the table. But as we can see in the video, no one hit the table. At least, no one we can see. Who was that? Who, who was that? It was something moved here. Throughout the night, the team continuously hears unexplained movement and voices. But none of it compares to what they capture on their static camera pointed at the main hall stage area. While the investigators are on a break, this happens. A dark figure is caught on static camera one and the investigators have no idea who or what this could be. Is it possible that they made contact with the ghost of William Stanley? Let me know what you think. You can watch this two-part investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. An unrestful stop. Late one night, truck driver Danny Ramirez pulls over at a rest stop in Oregon to sleep for the night. But there will be no sleep this night. He experiences something truly bizarre. Started to hear stuff out here. I'm over here on 97 on the rest stop. And, uh, I don't know. What the hell is that? Stop at this rest stop. <laughs> oh, and they say Bigfoot isn't real? I don't even want to stick my arm out the window. <laughs> I can't believe A loud animal-like wail can be heard coming from the woods right in front of Danny's parked truck. Danny believes he might have captured the sounds of a Bigfoot. Now it should be noted here that Danny has never posted anything related to the paranormal on his TikTok, which makes this creepy footage that much more believable. Also, others say that they have heard the exact same sounds in this exact same area. But of course, real or not, I leave that to you to decide. Spirits If you're a regular viewer of Nuke's Top 5, you might remember TikTok user Josiah Worley. Josiah experienced and recorded multiple paranormal experiences in his home in Minnesota, and was also sort of known for his unhealthy lifestyle, as he was usually drinking in his videos. For some stupid reason, my phone went from 30% to 5%. So I'm gonna take a shot. Do something. Ooh, what the f As I was getting ready to leave my phone, Almost died. Shh, what the f? What happened to light? Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go grab everything that I possibly f can. <sighs> okay, okay, try me, bro. What's good? I'm not a bitch. At least I didn't think I was, but I'm starting to progressively become more scared. <laughs> in an attempt to escape the extreme paranormal activity in his apartment, Josiah moved to a new city with his girlfriend, and he also began to try to improve his bad health habits. But as you might have guessed, whatever was haunting Josiah seems to have followed him to his new home. I just got off of FaceTime with uh, my friends Bree and Liz, and they were saying that something was in the f***ing hallway. No, it's in the kitchen. My f***ing chair is moving. It's... It's straight up moving. I don't... Maria. Josiah starts to become unnerved by the strange activity and slowly starts to return to his bad habit of having an occasional drink. One night, Josiah is boiling water in the kitchen when something happens that shocks him to his core. Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little fucking knife container thing. No. No. That's bad. No. Is that this all because the dude, this is getting dangerous, bro. You're gonna cut yourself. You need to be careful. Fucking no. Actually, I'm. Oh, uh, what the f just happened? Right in front of my face. Fucking shit. No. It's a regular old f***ing knife container thingy. <laughs> no, it's not. I just want, I'm not even hungry anymore. A kitchen knife flies off the knife block and lands with the point buried in the floor. Josiah is absolutely shocked and says he has no idea what this dark poltergeist could be that seems to follow him from place to place. But let me know what you think. The Hungry Haunting. This next creepy video is a bit of a mystery. It was posted to YouTube over 13 years ago on an account that has no other info than the strange name Freeze Dave Ram. So YouTube user Freeze Dave Ram explains that he occasionally hears strange noises in his home in Hungary, but he says he never really thought much about it. Then one night he's practicing some music on his keyboard. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Hello? You better turn on the light! What? Get up there. Get up 
objects around the house fall and some even seem to be thrown. A TV malfunctions in a truly unnerving way and a door slams shut. The musician just makes a run for it and the video abruptly ends. But that's not all because did you see it? Someone or something appears to be standing in the shadows of the living room and YouTube user Freeze Dave Ram doesn't even see it. So could this dark ominous figure be the cause of this terrifying activity? Or is this 13 year old YouTube video just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Shadowy Shepherd. This next creepy video was captured by Twitter user Eldar Glorfindel. Eldar says that he and his friends were about to head home after spending a day at the beach in the city of Niteroi, Brazil. They spot a lone goat trotting down the street. So Eldar decides to take a quick video of the goat to share with his friends on social media, kind of as a joke. But his friends are shocked when they spot something that Eldar did not see. Qual é, mano? Do nada, um bode, mano. Um bode, do nada. Some eerie figure can be seen watching Eldar and his friends from the shadows. Eldar's baffled and swears that he and his friends didn't see anyone standing there at the time. Damn. But whoever or whatever it is, the goat does seem to take notice. So what do you think is going on here? Let me know down in the comments. Qual é, mano? Do nada, um bode, mano. Um bode, do nada. Smiling Jack. A paranormal investigator that goes by the name Midwest Ghost Hunter sets out to investigate the Roselawn Cemetery in Roseville, Minnesota. Now for years, local police would receive frantic phone calls from cemetery visitors who claimed to see a terrified man who was trapped inside one of the graveyard's mausoleums. But no matter how many times police rushed to the cemetery to check it out, they never found anyone. The mausoleum was always locked and empty. Local legend began to say that this man was a trapped spirit inside the mausoleum. They called him Smiling Jack, named after a picture of a smiling man found inside the mysterious mausoleum. Investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter scouts the cemetery for hours in the middle of the night, hoping to find any signs of Smiling Jack. He almost gives up, but then he decides to take some photos of the inside of the mausoleum. What he captures is downright chilling. Whoa, what the f Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, I just caught a face. Holy Oh my God. Dude, I just caught a face in there. Oh my God. An eerie smiling face can be seen in one of the photos and investigator Midwest Ghost Hunter is absolutely shocked by the capture. But he's not ready to leave just yet. So he begins to ask Smiling Jack some questions. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Jack, if you can hear my voice, I know you're here. Tap on this window. Tap on it just like this. I don't know, guys. It seems like he's gone. Oh. And with that, the investigator has had enough for one night. So could it be that the stories of Smiling Jack are true? Could there be a spirit eternally trapped inside the mausoleum? Let me know what you think. You can watch this and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Midwest Ghost Hunter. Return to the basement. Two months ago, we watched popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill experience what he says was one of the most terrifying moments of his life as he had a disturbing paranormal encounter inside a 100 year old abandoned factory in Cleveland, Ohio. Did you hear that? That was loud. 
Oh my god. To this day, Chris still says that he has no idea what happened to him on that horrible night, but he's determined to find out. So against his better instincts, he decides to go back. No. Cut no. to the middle of the night and Chris heads back down into the basement where he had his previous terrifying encounter. It did not go well. Very early into his exploration and Chris is checking out an old room where he thinks he heard a strange sound. He doesn't exactly catch what it was, but many of his viewers did. Listen carefully. It's a weird noise in this room. Did you hear it? When the audio is enhanced, a strange male voice can be heard whispering. But what it seems to be saying can't be understood. It's a weird noise in this room. That's creepy. But it gets worse. Soon after this incident, Things take a terrifying turn. Oh, is that the still toilet? There. Is that the toilet? That's nasty. What the hell? What the hell is that? Fast as hell for a big guy. <laughs> Fast and black. Holy shit. Holy shit. Run away! Some heavy object falls or is thrown onto a grate just above Chris's head. In a panic, he rushes upstairs to check the area to try to find the culprit. There's no one there. But meanwhile, an infrared camera that Chris has set up in the basement records something truly chilling. A white translucent figure can be seen walking across the basement. Now Chris has no idea what his infrared camera has captured and he decides to just take a break. He sits down and starts scrolling through his phone and what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Homie to the bin left. Without warning, Chris is pushed backwards by some invisible force. He falls to the floor and is knocked unconscious for 10 minutes. Invisible force. Without warning, Chris is pushed backwards by some invisible force. He falls to the floor and is knocked unconscious for 10 minutes. When he wakes up, he quickly grabs his equipment and just gets out of there. Now, this clip is especially impressive as Chris is a pretty big guy but he seems to go flying backwards with intense force. Chris later says that the fall was so hard that both his camera lens and phone screen were broken. He says that he will never, ever go back to that place again. 
You can watch this entire exploration with even more spooky moments that I didn't show here over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Sleight of Hand. Late one evening, Reddit user Get the Bass is home alone, recording a video of his brand new aquarium tank and goldfish to post to Instagram. But he spots something truly bizarre. All right, guys, got some new fish. Pretty big tank as well. There's currently two black ones, two gold ones. Uh, I've called them Goldie. Goldie number two. Uh, <laughs> A black one, and I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that... What the f what the f A mysterious hand can be seen quickly moving away from the tank, but when Reddit user Get the Bass runs around the corner, there's no one there. Get the Bass says that at first he was worried that someone might have broken into his house, but he didn't hear any footsteps running away and after a search, he didn't find anyone inside. One thing Get the Bass is correct about though is the lack of other footsteps, because even when the audio is boosted and enhanced, the only footsteps that can be heard are his own. Listen closely. What the f What the f Get the Bass says that he's heard and seen other odd things in his house. So could this hand belong to someone or something that haunts his home? Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Lately my uploads The Ghost of the Haunted Hand Job. Ooh. That sounds like a story that I might want to sell to Goosebumps. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. Twizzlers.